The core of this paper is an exploration of, sort of an age-old question of how much of who we are is made up of our genetics and how much of it is made up of the environment and our early life experiences. We know for sure that the experiences we have early in our development can have consequences later on, but how that happens, we really don't know. Every cell is made up of uh, its own DNA. And we usually think of that DNA as being pretty stable in cells. And, but it turns out that in certain types of cells, even in the brain, there are elements, pieces, segments, that can move from one location to another. Some people call them jumping genes. And since they're, they're mobile pretty early in development, neurons are still dividing, one could ask the question, is there a consequence to the m mobility of these genes in the behavior, uh, since they're occurring in the brain, is there some uh, effect in, in the behavior of an organism? So we set up an experiment using mice where we uh, stressed uh, mice or we gave them a, a, a lot of enriched experiences early on uh, in, the, in their development with their mother. And um, sure enough, we saw that later on in life there were some changes in the amount of uh, mobile elements that it had been moving around in the, in, the, in the brains of the pups at a later time point. But it was, it was sort of inconsistent. Uh, sometimes it was stress, sometimes it was enrichment that was having an effect. And a postdoc in the laboratory, Tracy Bredosian, um, was exploring these experiments over several years and noticed that there were differences in how the mothers cared for their pups. So she began to explore this effect of nurturing and whether or not the amount of nurturing had any impact on the subsequent mobility of these uh, elements. So what Tracy did was to, immediately after birth, she cross-fostered. That means put some of the pups with a high nurturer and some of the pups with a low nurturing mother and mix them up. And what she found was that it was really the impact of the mother on the, uh, on the pup, not an intrinsic property of the pup that influenced the rate at which the mobile elements occurred. She also did another experiment showing that if you take a mother away from the, their pups for a period of time, the mother compensates and spends a lot more time with the pup um, for the rest of the day. All the mothers became high nurturing mothers. And when that happened, all the pups subsequently showed a decrease in the amount of mobile elements. Fundamentally, what we found is that in mice from mothers that were low had low nurturing, there was a greater amount of mobile elements observed in their cells compared to the high nurturing mothers. So let me step back a little bit and, and say that um, what we're demonstrating here, what we're proposing is the, back to this idea that how much of who we are is determined by our inherited genetics and how much of who we are is of consequence of the environmental experience we have. And what we're proposing here is that it really is a combination of the two because the environmental experience that happened early in, in the environment, at, at early in experience, early in development, influenced the mobility of these elements to insert themselves in different locations within the DNA. So we have both a genetic event occurring causally linked to a behavioral, early behavioral experience.